see anything moving in the background, that's uh, those are probably some trucks on I-80 stretching through Nevada into Utah. These are the Bonneville Salt Flats. I like to film out here when I can. It is a little bright, but I am a, a small little speck here in this vast desert. Here's my car, and it's full of matchbox. I've got two previews to do. Here's the first one. This is what I'm going to do today here at the Flats is preview mix four, show off these cars. I'm not gonna put them on the turntable here. I'll find a different location for that. But I'll give you a little tease of what's coming next. This is mix five. I'll find another location in Utah to film that. There's your little tease for that. But let's get back to this. We're gonna go one by one and check it out. Mix four should be hitting soon. Mix three's out here now. Everyone's chasing that Bronco chase. Found one today, but let's start with this. This is the Matchbox field car. It's actually an unlicensed. Show you the uh, artwork. Really love Matchbox's artwork of late. And then there is the model itself. Second version, actually third, if you count the uh, Toy Fair model they did a couple of years ago. But um, so this is something that I've made. I think we'll probably see this in play sets and things. It's actually based on an old, uh, an old school Matchbox model from who knows way back when. Matchbox field car. Um, you know, it's kind of an update version of that, updated version of that. I'm trying to see if I understand any of that deco. Something about free ride and downhill ridge, something like that. Let's put this off to the side so I don't show it again. And let's go, just we'll grab and we'll go. These mixes are good. These are, you know, belt for 24 count. I am hearing from Matchbox that we might start seeing some rollover. You know, at the at this point, you know, with, if it's in mix three, you're not going to see it in mix four. But I've heard that we might start seeing some rollers because this mix isn't as big as mix five, and so you might see mix five roll into mix six and stuff because I think there's like 24 models in mix five. But we'll do that when we do the preview. This is the Road Stripe King. You can put a crayon in that thing, um, and make it create road stripes. So they do these kind of unlicensed models. I don't think that uh, there's too many people complaining that the road stripe model is licensed unless like Ferrari makes one. I don't think Ferrari makes one. I don't think uh, Nissan makes one. I don't think there's a J well, there's probably a JDM road stripe model, but I'll just move on. All right. Chevy Caprice Classic Police. This is kind of cool. This is a Skybusters theme, right? So there's the artwork. You can see sometimes they'll put the logo on there if they can. Um, they put the theme on the back. Well, I, you know, I can't remember what it means. City, maybe. But this is obviously the cool police car. Security, Skybuster security, so it'd be like an airport police car. In silver, this is a nice casting. I prefer like NYPD and things, but I think this is kind of cool. It's the tie in, tie in with Skybusters moving on. We see the Super Forester. I own one, well, I own an Outback. But uh, how about the Super Forester? There is the artwork in a burgundy color. Love that green that they did last year. And this uh, this is, seems to be a stock color. This is a fantastic casting. You see a million for it. Well, I see a million Foresters. I'm in Utah. Utah is like the Subaru capital of the planet, it seems. There's about 8 billion Outbacks, of which I have one, and there's a ton of Foresters. And so this is kind of cool to see a really nicely done replica of a very, very common car. But it's, you know, that's that's a nice mix, nice variety. If someone's going to do a Forester in stock versions, it's got to be Matchbox. And they just nailed this one. So very cool second version of the Forester. Moving on, nice to see the Toyota Hilux back. 2018, love this color. What was it first? Kind of a maroon color. Now we've got this alpha green something like that and it looks great looks great sometimes these models are just so nice and plain plain is such a bad word because it makes it sound like boring boring is not the word here these are just very very nice stock versions toyota official licensed product they're just so awesome and that's all you can really say i apologize i like to give good insights but when you're just seeing Recolors of cars that we like makes for a nice fleet. So moving on to the next Classic Cadillac We've seen what black green 
maybe white. We've seen this in a few. We've even seen a hard top on this one. This is the 1941 Cadillac Series 62 convertible coupe in maroon red with the silver trim, the chrome. This one, we're seeing more, we're seeing more models get the chrome treatment, which is nice to see. Classic, classic Cadillac. Abe Lugo, the designer for Matchbox, has one of these in his garage. And when you're a designer for Matchbox or Hot Wheels or any brand, of course you're gonna do your own car, right? You should, I would. They should do an Outback. They should do an Outback, guys, do an Outback. Polaris Slingshot, maybe this is the third or fourth version of this one. Cool deco on the top. You're not gonna see that on the turntable. So I'll show it to you now, get in the sun here. That looks nice. Cool casting. Not my cup of tea, but someone's cup of tea. It's kind of nice. Got some new castings here, but uh, we'll move on in a second here. 2018 Dodge Charger in purple. Put that out there in the desert. It's a great color. Love the Charger castings that they've done. This one's really nice. Stock, clean. Those Dodge taillights are so um, recognizable now that it's a shame when these castings get done without them. So nice to see that on this one. Cool grill piece, separate piece, so you get that nice break. And then, of course, the headlights are done. That's a great, great model. Top Gun, right? We had it. Top Gun. Wasn't it Top Gun or was that the Challenger? I don't know. All right. Let's go with some classic cars. We've got some good ones down there. But this one's great. 1962 Plymouth Savoy. Saw it in black. Now it's in white. Is that the first? Is that the second color? Artwork's great. Model's fantastic. Chrome again. Happy to see the chrome. Seems like it's getting worked in a little bit more. And this is great because when you get that chrome, it looks really good on the front. You don't need the tampos, but you get that. So you get the trim all decorated in silver and chrome, and then you get the taillights in red. Savoy on the rear license plate. That looks so great. So happy with that one. That's a great casting. One of my favorite from last year. Black, now white. Nice pair. People love the Mini Cooper. People will love this one in pink. Looks really good. There's your art. They should make those wheels. There's your car. Cool little casting. Been around a while. They could use some smaller wheels. They didn't have them when they developed this casting. So, you know, they hadn't developed the uh, smaller. I think they would change this casting. Made the, win the wheel wells just slightly smaller, right? But um, actually, this one could go chrome. But I actually like the white here. Because you get the white stripes. You get the white on the rims. I think that looks really cool. It's a cute casting. All right, final three. Nissan Z makes its way back. 2003 Nissan 350Z returns. We've seen it uh, make its return, what, a couple of times. This one goes in a Falcon livery with a Matchbox Japan deco. Kind of clean, kind of cool. Six spokes on this one. Doesn't get the headlight treatment, which is too bad. But does get the taillight treatment, which, you know, I don't know if you're going to go one or the other. I mean, both is better. Deco's kind of cool. You know, this era of Z, I've never been a big fan of it, but, uh, you know, people drift it. So this looks cool. It's kind of done in a nice deco. Wheels look good. Of course, they did the new Z for that uh, collector line. So they may pair these at some point. All right, final two. These are the new castings of this mix. Got the Charger. We got the Tesla. Let's move with the Tesla. Um, I didn't bring out, and I'll find, maybe I'll do an Instagram little reels or something or show some pictures. This is the Tesla Model X. This is the first, this is a new casting, but they did a Model X in the opening parts. I wonder if it just, we haven't seen it. We saw it once. It's now become incredibly collectible because it was hard to find. And now, I, you know, I think I've seen it on eBay for a fortune. And uh, I think I have one myself that's it. It had, the, it had the opening doors, the gold wing doors in the back. And I don't know, maybe Tesla didn't like it. I'm not sure, but we haven't seen it since. And I figured we would. So maybe that casting has been expired. And now it moves in as just a standard dollar casting. Looks great. I don't know if it's updated. I'll do a comparison. 
I'll find pictures and I'll do a comparison of the two um, so you can kind of see what uh, what is the same and what's different about these castings. Obviously, the moving parts is one thing, but um, you know if there's any changes or updates of the cast. I don't know if the Model X has been updated in real life, but uh, love the color in this one. Love the gray wheels, gray spokes. Um, you know, as far as teases go, you're gonna get you're gonna get the Y in the next mix, right? So we'll put those together when the time comes. So we finish that off and we'll finish off with the model that I think is the best of this mix. 1966 Dodge Charger. This car is so rad there. Let's put that out in the desert. I love this. Love the art, first and foremost. Love the casting. It's so fantastic and love the color. Chrome, we got the chrome. We got some trim on the front, nice and plain on the sides, and we got those awesome tail lights and that Charger Deco on the back. I am thrilled with this thing. The wheels look perfect. This is as good as it gets when it comes to Matchbox. Classic stock. I know that Hot Wheels has done this casting, but um, and I don't have it. I don't have one to compare, but I don't need to because this is perfect. This represents this era of just that cool sloped back classic muscle car the 66 charger i absolutely am in love is this one of my favorites of the year absolutely from from matchbox well there's so much more coming out it'll be hard to know if this is going to go top but this will be a contender of the model of the year in my opinion right right you guys tell me what you think there you go that's matchbox mix four throw all these back in the box then I'll go wander Utah, find a new spot to do the Mix 5 preview. And we'll get those opened up and have some fun. Thanks, everybody. Bye.